Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another weekly video. I'm trying to get a little bit more uploads going, but if you guys aren't aware of the situation, we have to win this next monthly final or else we're not going to world. So a lot of my time has been focused on competitive. The match, I'm sorry Kichi, the match is in, or the monthly final I should say is in 12 days. So if I don't make it, obviously that's going to open up a lot more time to make content, stream, do whatever I want to do. Uh, but the goal is definitely to make it to world. So we're going to keep grinding for that. But new brawlers came out, and I kind of want to teach you guys how to play them. So Otis, Sam, and where is my homie? Gus have all come out recently, and they're all actually pretty good brawlers. Now, I've seen a lot of like guides and stuff on YouTube about these brawlers, and I think they're pretty wrong. So I'm just going to summarize every brawler, how to play them, what to do, what to level up, what to use, just everything. Let's hop into the games, and let's get started with Otis. Okay, so starting off with Otis. Otis is one of the best brawlers in the game, 100%. I would probably put it borderline top five some people have a top 10 but i think it is the probably the best tank counter in the game just because it's also so good against everything else it has extremely high damage per second you can play it against range brawlers and kind of chip although that's probably something i don't recommend or you can just run at tanks mid-range whatever it may be super them so they can't shoot and just auto aim them from one tile away it does a ton of damage it's really really good in basically every mode and i would definitely recommend maxing it as quickly as you can. I would slap the damage gear on it 100% if you guys can. Uh, probably also go with vision or speed, but definitely the damage gear 100%. Outside of it doing a ton of damage and everything I just said, it's just a really, really safe pick. It has the gadget, which is kind of like a barley shot. I definitely recommend using that gadget because you can just like kind of area deny something for like three seconds, which is pretty good. And all in all, it's just a really, really well-rounded brawler. It's really good at just about anything. Um, it's good, I think, in every mode. It has high DPS, so you can run it in modes like Siege when it does come back. And Heist, I think it's pretty good in a mode like Bounty, but definitely Gem Grab and Brawl Ball is where it excels. Uh, definitely a top 5 brawler, and just play it like you would any type of spray brawler. Kind of like a max, except you run up to people on auto aim instead of chip and have speed but that is otis that's how you play it that's how you run it that's where you run it and what to put on it now let's move on to sam which is a lot more difficult i think but is a has a way higher ceiling so let's move on to sam show you guys what it looks like so with sam sam is a very different brawler than otis it's actually a really unique brawler as in it spawns with its super i think it's the only brawler in the game that spawns with its super but you basically always want to have your glove with you if you ever or whatever it is, knuckle. If you ever lose that glove, knuckle thing, whatever it is, you're useless. You can't play the game. There is absolutely no way you're going to be able to do anything. The best way to play this brawler is to constantly, and when I say constantly, I really do mean constantly just throw the knuckle off of walls. You want to play it in maps that are close quartered so that you can just constantly have the speed boost, constantly be gaining HP, stuff like that. The more close together the walls are on the map, it, the, just the better. It doesn't matter what mode it is. It could be Heist, it could be Gem Grab, it could be Bounty, it could be Brawl Ball. It doesn't matter. As long as there's a lot of walls, this brawler is going to be really, really good. You guys have probably seen tons of videos and stuff where it's literally not killable if you just throw the glove over and over and over off the wall. So it's a really weird brawler. It takes a little bit of practice to get really good at it. But once you kind of understand how the brawler works and the mechanics behind it, it gets really easy. The gadget is also, like, ridiculously broken. It's a very broken gadget. The only time where I would recommend not throwing it just directly off a wall is if you're throwing your glove onto someone, and then using your gadget to kind of hook them in, and then just running towards your gadget, picking back your glove up, and just, you know, being one tile away from them and getting an easy kill. As for matchups, it's kind of good into every brawler. Now, there's some tank counters that's just really annoying to face, like Lou or something like that. But there are a lot of brawlers that just can't kill it. For example, Gus, it just doesn't do the damage required to kill it. Something like Jean, just single fire brawlers that don't do that much damage. Even like a Janet, just brawlers that constantly hit you for like 1.5 thousand or something like that. There's just no way you can kill a Sam doing that. Again, it's really well rounded. You can run it in like every single mode. It's a little bit weird as a tank where its counters aren't necessarily the exact same as typical tank counters. I think other tanks counter it really, really well. And there are a lot of brawlers that are really good into it. But in terms of tanks, I think it's easily one of the strongest tanks right now. The number one tip I would say is just make sure you always have your glove. Make sure you're constantly getting the speed. Make sure you're constantly throwing your glove and not holding it. And make sure you do not lose the glove. Because once you lose it, the game is over. You're useless. You're not going to do anything. 
And that is my TED talk about Sam. And finally, we have Gus. So Gus is a very good brawler. I think it's a little bit underrated because it does very low damage per second. Um, it's really kind of dependent on what you're facing and who you have on your team. You can't be playing Gus while having like a Piper or a Brock or something like that on your team because you need to go aggressive while having a Gus on your team. Gus drops Ghosts, which are really useful. You can either do damage to the other team, which is really, really huge, or you can get healing off of them. And getting one of those Ghosts once every four shots is actually pretty crazy. It adds a ton of value to the Brawler. And then outside of that, it obviously has a shield, and the shield is ridiculously broken. It just makes any mid-range brawler in my book, so if you want to give it to a Janet, Anita, a Surge, a Max, a Stu, just any mid-range brawler, I think it just makes them completely broken, basically unkillable, and since all mid-range brawlers, again, have some form of range, you can just tank 3,000 worth of shots, or 3,000 worth of damage to your shield and be... Full HP right in front of someone. I think it's just really broken. I think it's really good. Now, it might be a little bit undertuned, so it does a little bit too little damage and can't really hold its own too well. But it does make your teammates a lot better. It does leave a lot of HP on the map, gives a lot of extra shield. And you can always just give the shield to yourself and have almost 8,000 HP whenever you want. So it's not too bad. It's not like it's the worst brawler in the world. And it has pretty good range. So I think the range is what makes the difference with this brawler. It's really good. Would definitely recommend leveling it up. And I think a lot of you guys have it because it's only super rare, I think. I mean, it's a little bit difficult to play with randoms. If you're looking for a brawler to play with randoms, I would definitely recommend leveling up the Otis or the Sam. But if you have a team, if you have some people that you want to play with or some friends that you play with, Gus is really easy to push and is actually pretty well-rounded. I think it's a really good gem mid on a lot of the gem carrying maps. I think it's a really good mid in brawl ball just basically any map with range i think it's pretty good as long as you have aggressive brawlers on your team that pair well with it i think that's really the most important thing i think the most overpowered play with gus is to hit someone that's like 3000 hp i don't know what the exact hp is but you hit someone with your fourth shot that spawns a ghost and then you just click your gadget it does a ton of damage there's literally no outplay to it so i think that's kind of dumb that there's no outplay to something i think everything in the game there needs to be some way to stop it and there's literally no way to stop this it's really broken. It's like three free kills. And I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that's really good about this brawler. It's pretty well rounded, just a little bit underwhelming when it comes to the damage. But outside of that, I think it's really good. I think all three of the brawlers that have been released are really good brawlers. I think they're all going to be very much in the meta for a while. Even if they aren't right now, maybe they'll receive a little bit of a buff or something. We'll see talking about Gus and be really, really meta for a long time coming, especially Sam and Otis. So that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know if you guys want me to, you know, go over anything else. I just kind of want to do the three newer brawlers because I, you know, have seen some recent guides and stuff and I don't think they're too accurate. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be it for today. I uh, wish you guys all the best. I will see you guys hopefully again soon. Peace. Hey you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? The most loved player on your team? and support your favorite creator at the same time. Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.